Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The rising heavyweight prospect FIA Jagba out of Nigeria will round out his 2019 against Iago Kaladze. In Kaladze, these days he resembles a gatekeeper of sorts for the BBC. He's also fought the likes of Adam Kovnatsky, Michael Hunter and Joe Joyce in the past couple of years. And those guys, uh, Joyce and Hunter, they've moved on now, but they were with the BBC when they fought Kaladze. So I'll come to the common opponent factor, because obviously those three uh, went some rounds with Kaladze and FA Jagba, a top prospect here. I think some people will think that he'll smoke Kaladze early on, but we'll get to that. But in terms of this fight, I know there will be some people sort of saying it's a pointless fight, it's meaningless, you know, FA Jagba should be doing more at this stage of his career. I don't quite see it the same way because there's a couple of things. You have to remember FIA Jagba is just 11-0 at the moment, 9 KOs. He's 25 years old, 85-inch uh, reach, and he is going to be having probably in the next 18 months to two years a title shot on his way. They will be grooming him for that. So at this point, 11-0, I don't mind Kaladze one bit at all. And you have to consider he actually recently pulled out of a fight against Jack Mulawai, and even that he was sort of um, parachuted in at late notice, a couple of weeks notice for that, but he pulled out the week of the fight because he had a back injury. So that was just about, what, three or four weeks ago. So the fact that he's going to be fighting in December, coming off an injury, but also a couple of months of inactivity. He last fought Ali Aaron Demerijan in July. This kind of eases his him back into things. And at 11 and 0, at Iago Kaladze, I don't mind it at all. I mean, and if we're going to be holding these fighters to the same standards. I mean, Kovnatsky and Hunter had more fights on their resume when they fought Iago Kaladze. But you might be asking, why is Kaladze getting all these fights with uh, these up-and-coming heavyweights? Guys like Hunter, Kovnatsky and Joyce and now Ajagba. Well, the fact is, he comes to fight. So Kaladze, his record, it's not exactly flattering at this point in his career. He's 26 wins, four losses, one draw, and most of those losses have come since he's moved up to heavyweight. He lost by KO to Kovnatsky. He lost by KO to Michael Hunter. He lost by KO to Joe Joyce. That was all in 2018. His 2019 so far has consisted of a draw against Robert Alfonso. That's a heavyweight that Deontay Wilder has had some involvement with. But in terms of Alfonso, who you know obviously escaped with a draw there, I think people came away from that fight not thinking how great Kaladze was, but maybe more disappointed with how Alfonso fought and some of the raps that people had on him. But in terms of Kaladze, what he normally does in the fights, if you've seen him before, he gives it a go. And this is why he keeps getting these fights. He might get knocked down. He might ultimately get knocked out. But he's one of these guys that will let his hands go. He will give the opposing fighter a little bit of trouble with his movement, but ultimately he'll get clipped, he'll get stopped. And in the case of Alfonso, a split decision draw. That was over eight rounds. So he's a guy that can actually, you can put him in there. There's not too much risk, but on the other hand, it looks competitive in the op opening rounds because Kaladze is letting his hands go. And against most of those guys, he had a little bit of success in those fights. He was able to, with his fast hands, being a former cruiserweight, he was able to land on the likes of Kovnatsky and Joyce. Ultimately, didn't really do a dent on either. but ultimate, And he ultimately got knocked out. But he's one of these guys that comes to fight lets his hands go but ultimately he can offer just so much of a test but it is one of those sorts of tests that those fighters have needed have come through and have got good looking impressive victories over Kaladze and currently on box rec at the time of this video he is a top 100 fighter just scraping inside he is the 99th heavyweight in the world in terms of box recs those standings you know that's based on his resume so Kaladze 26 4 and 1 facing FA Jagba I don't think there's going to be any question about who's going to win the fight it's over 10 rounds FA Jagba will I think get through this comfortably enough I think what we'll see is in the first couple of rounds Jagba won't be doing anything silly obviously if he can land the right hand and take Kaladze out he will but I see him working off his jab and they will be trying to implement some of the things that they've been working in the gym him and Ronnie Shields would have walked away from that Demerision fight because that went all 
10 rounds and there was a crazy amount of punches i think it was about 18 1900 punches in the whole fight collectively demerision and ajagba really did let the leather fly but it was a good fight and a good test for fa ajagba and i did note because the press release which um has a little sort of blurb on the different fighters etc it talks about the whole curtis harper walking out of the ring and the fight with ali erin demerision uh, and a couple of other bits and pieces but no quotes there's you know very threadbare information but i think ajagba he will know that this is his fight to lose and i don't expect anyone will really give um Kaladze much of a chance but it's an opportunity after that demerision fight where he you know got through the rounds he looked decent good engine there was better punch variation from him he showed he's got good ticker he could take a punch demerise and was catching him at times but there's things to improve on and i'm sure they would have been making adjustments and a guy like kaladze who can give a little bit of movement to fa jack but make it a little bit difficult for a couple of rounds at least i think that is a decent test at this point in his career and if you consider kovnatsky joyce and hunter all went to the mid rounds with Kaladze. What should we actually expect in this fight? Because I think a lot of people would have forgotten that Kaladze took Adam Kovnatsky six rounds, Hunter five rounds, Joyce five rounds. Sure, he was getting dropped in some of those fights multiple times, like the Joyce one, for example, but he was able to put up some resistance. And let's face it, at this point in his career, a Jagba needs someone who can give him a little bit of a test, something a little bit different. And if he can show him some movement and get him thinking, trying to break Kaladze down, that's going to be good for his development. And I'm sure there will be some people who are coming in poo-pooing this fight and they wouldn't have made it this far and they'll be saying that a Jagba should be fighting Dubois next and all this sort of carry on but at this point if they're grooming him and they're trying to get him to a certain level build him through 2020 and the next sort of you know rung up the ladder the fights above the, the competition he's been at I don't mind this fight one bit but what do you make of this fight and what does it mean if he's able to stop Kaladze earlier than the, the likes of Joyce, Hunter and Kovnatsky? I could see it ending early if Kaladze does get caught with something, but early on he may prove a little bit more difficult than some people will give him credit for. I think he will give a jag with some movement, make it a little bit difficult, and maybe he will even tag him a couple of times, which obviously sometimes that will get people worried, but I expect a jag to win win well with a good looking knockout to end his 2019 and I do think the bigger test the tougher test will start to come in 2020 but I think people just need to keep expectations in check they're clearly not going to rush the sky 25 years old still got a lot of time to build them up what do you make of it all drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared I'm out